also. Oh, she's not charged. <clears throat> Has to charge her headphones. I see. You can just work. <laughs> we have Melissa Osborne here, and she is listing a ton of clothes from what I see. She's kind of like. Speak up a little bit. I, I have a hard time since it's coming through my ear as well. Copy that. So she's listing a ton of clothes. Her headphones aren't charged, but they're going to be. She lives in Oklahoma, so right up from us and um she rearranged her workspace today i want to see a tour of the workspace you want to show us your workspace because it's pretty amazing she has like i don't know a mannequin and a huge window for daylight which is amazing oh we don't have daylight, we have no daylight. <laughs> and she sells primarily on poshmark She's been experimenting with the real real recently and she can give you her feedback about that experience sure it'll be good so we're gonna try to have people on every wednesday so you can meet other people in the reselling community because there's so many of us and if we're all working together it's nice to know who you're talking to every for sure while. for sure it's like rev yourselves up to be on the live list no i won't do it i won't do it <laughs> just working just work all right, what are we doing first? We are these doing... These clothes stuffs or no? Yeah, those are clothes. Okay. I have some pants on the bed that I wanted to grab too, some shorts. We're okay. going to do some flat lays, and then we listed... I drafted a bunch of plush today that you saw in the, in the Daily Grind video. Oh, my gosh. So it ended up being 75 pieces. That's a lot. Yeah, and it, I think it averaged a cost of 15 cents a piece. So... And I'm only listing things that are above nine ninety nine. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked about it actually though. Oh. Okay. This thing is really cool. Man. Check this thing out. It's from a brand called Skull Cashmere. Never heard of it, but who wouldn't want that, right? Oh. Which one? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> There's some discoloration. Discoloration in the in the armpit area. So we'll hold off on that guy. Oh, this okay, this is uh, Lovers and Friends. Do you know that brand? Yep, I okay. do. I need you to, um, what you call it? Mint? Yeah. Yeah. So. Lovers and Friends is a great brand if you can find it, but I wouldn't pay it for it. I had to say, like, two years ago, like, when quarantine was happening, it was really hot. But right now, it's kind of simmered a little bit. I don't know. What happened to those little scissors? I don't know. They were the cutest. Well, I got it. It would still be nice to have. Here's some. Oh, you get the bird scissors. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> okay. All right. I'm getting set up here. It usually takes a little bit of time to get into the swing of it and then we get into a nice little roll over here okay what is this thing called a bodysuit yep with your death pile and just that stuff that was kind of of the essence oh my gosh chelsea look at these little pants 
their little Oscar the Grouch. They're not um, Oshkosh, they're just Sesame Street brand. <laughs> they're super cute. That's funny. Tommy says uh, he thinks I should model the bodysuit. Yes. Not, not going to happen. Nobody Ooh, wants to see that. Let's peer pressure him. Nobody wants to see it. Oh, they want to see it. The crowd <laughs> has spoken. They definitely want to see it. Oh, hi, Lori. Um, we live in Dallas, so we use regional boxes when the locations are close to us. So the only time, since we're in the middle of the country, the only time it really doesn't work is if it's at the very, very far north east or west or if it's at cal or the very very south east or west so like california oregon washington maine florida those don't work regionally for us it's cheaper to do a flat rate but for other states like we just sent something missouri in a regional box today because it's just straight up yeah uh, oklahoma arizona kentucky even work really well in a regional box so if you type in the regional box on ebay It'll let you know from where your location is, how much it costs, and you can compare that to the flat rate cost. It's all about your location. Yep. Can you, um, have you been... Mm -mm, nope. You can't tell in the picture, though. You really can't. I mean... Is your picture that bad? Ooh. Ooh. No, it's just... Yeah. I need a pants hanger. Look at these little pants. What even are these? They're little baby pants. Little baby They're pants. very cute. Everybody wants them on the on the log. Do you think they have to fit me? <laughs> I'm gonna pop her off. Uh, pants hanger. Can't find any pants hanger. You hung them all out of my reach, or what? I guess. Larry. Where did I go? So, you guys, we sold our house today. <sighs> The biggest, best thing that's ever happened. If you're new here. It's finally, it's done. It's our done. house has been on the market for 16 months. Our oh, condo. Hey, Tanya. Stayed over to work on inventory and take pictures. Yes. Hey, Connie. I just saw you got here. <laughs> Everyone's saying congratulations. Wait, Marilyn Picker Thank or you. Dr. Picker? Can someone please let me know? I missed the comment. If they did, let me know. <laughs> Is this something I should know? You guys know I'm out of the loop a lot. Thank you. Doing a little light steaming here. And my steamer's still leaking all over the floor. Don't Sweet. worry. It's still happening. Okay, good. good. It's going to be a weekend purchase. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Oh, thank you, Francis. Francis says she's learned so much from us. And she's listing. I know. Yes, everybody get listing. That's the only way we're going to make money. I just, you know, I was listening to YouTube videos today. I had to turn it off. <laughs> Everyone was complaining about Poshmark. I was like, what about the search? Problems, well, if or? you spent half as much time listing as you did complaining, <laughs> like just list or cross list or something, you know, you got to be proactive. When I was a high school teacher, I would say to my kids, we had this. I don't know if it's everyone has the statement, but like, don't sit and stew, go and do. That's pretty good. It's like the only way to get anything done. That rhymes. It's good. I like it. <laughs> These little pants are bell bottoms. I am dead over it. I'm just letting you know. They are so cute. <laughs> Doing what I say not to do. On steam from the outside. No, steaming wool. Steaming wool. <laughs> just don't want. Uh oh, busted. No, I'm just doing it very lightly because it's just some better days. <clears throat> what are we doing? Lovers and friends bodysuit. We have one of these listed in this. Do we really? Sold it or not? 
This is the ruffle version, though. What can you say to the ruffle? Oh, it is Melissa's dog. Oh, dog. Wait. Don't take any medical advice from me. Okay. I won't. <clears throat> the fear of no bot is crushing souls on posh. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a hater, but people are pretty dramatic about it. Okay, let me share my screen here. I got all the screens going now. I know, right? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, Melissa, your light looks great. Yeah, man. <laughs> I love this being able to see, even if we can't hear Melissa right now, being able to see everyone working, I think, is a huge morale booster. For sure. It's like, oh, we actually aren't alone. Other people in the, the universe are. Somebody called it a virtual co op, and I think that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Hi, Teresa. We have all the inspiration. All you can handle, bro. Ready? No. I am just... <laughs> Lovers and friends ruffle... It's a bodysuit, right? Yes, it is. And it's new tags? Yes, it is. Okay, let's look at these pictures and you tell me which one it was. Was it like a DV or like this? It was like this with the ruffle top. It was on the side, like off the shoulder? Um, Sure. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, that looks like that, huh? It's long sleeve, though. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hold on, then. Hold on. You can't, <laughs> just, can't just steamroll me here. Sorry. Oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. This old coat is kind of heavy for this thing. Is it? Yeah, a little bit. I, I think we'll be happen. okay. We'll take the pictures quickly. <laughs> Is this a uh, half price or something? I bought that because most is always saying to get vintage Abercrombie. But it's not the greatest style. Hey, Carrie, how's it going? Teresa? Janine made it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I want to see everyone's comments. <clears throat> We need a review here. Chat. Comment. Yes. Got it now. Smash that like button. Yes. The new default search is making bots irrelevant. Oh my gosh, the people have to do their own work with proper listings now to get to the top. You're not wrong, sir. But we always do proper listings from go anyway, you know what I mean? That thing was definitely not a v-neck, right? Correct. Was it very roughly? Yeah. Yeah. I know, that's not what I mean. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any style number or anything? That's why you can't get ahead of me, friend. I have all the questions. I think with something like this, the style really does matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Janine sold a bra to a woman and she was disappointed. <laughs> we have a track record of selling lingerie to... Men. I I don't know if they're buying it for themselves or wise. I don't care. I just want to mm -hmm. sell stuff. No, no stall number. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. It's off the shoulder. Right? I, I don't I'm sorry, I really don't know. Can you hand it to me? Let me check it out. If you modeled it, we would know. <laughs> Alright, you got me there. You got me there. 
ribbed. I don't care who buys my stuff. We just had the worst person ever buy our house. I don't care. Yeah. They bought it. Still bought it. Bye. Oh, I'm so happy. You're very welcome, Kimberly. I really sent over a request for worth point, and I will remind you, I really don't mind. Send me your worth points when you need it. I don't think anyone should have to pay $35 a month for something they use very rarely. Okay, but send the actual worth point link, please. Kimberly did exactly that. Send the worth point link. It's very helpful. I don't want to go. I don't want to do your research for you. I'll click on a button. Right. <laughs> as far as it goes. <laughs> okay. I am just going to copy this description and make my own in the eBay land. We're not moving. Hey, Tracy. We've already we, moved. We had two houses for the <laughs> longest time ever. And not in a good way, not in like one of them is like earning money way. <laughs> yeah, we've been, um, oh, it's a Fatima. No, it's not a Fatima. We've been holding down two house payments and it's been really, really rough, which is why we've been listening so much and like trying to just keep our heads above water. We sold our house. This is what happened. So we didn't have jobs during COVID because I work in the theater. And Dan works in a band, and there was no concerts and there was no shows. So we decided to move and get the equity out of our house <laughs> because the real estate market was hot. Super hot. Except that our condo was unsellable. And no one told us that. It was fine. It's fine. So we've been sitting on two house payments for 16 months, and it finally closed today. So we're going to celebrate. <laughs> it feels very relieving. Yes, Dan signed the paperwork and the money is in our account. <laughs> Please. It's been rough. It has. It's been challenging. Not an island paradise second home. <laughs> no, not one of those. No, we moved into a teardown, you see, because we were like, oh, we can just fix it up. It'll be great. And then we had no money to fix it. It's fine. It's been fine. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I make a freaking listing? <clears throat> it's not. <sighs> Houses are cheaper in Delaware. And you could play in a mariachi every weekend at oh, Dewey. Oh, sweet. All right, cool. We have many mariachis in Texas. I'm still, I'm trying. Can I have that back? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't want to like rush you. But... Is it manufacturer's check? Yeah. What's the number? 5015. It is warm back here today. Mm -hmm. Is there a UPC? Huh? Is there a UPC? Nope. Great. <laughs> I do like selling this brand, but it used to be a little better. What size? Small. I don't really like to enter things in the search fields, but I guess you have to. Material? Killing me small. Stop moving ahead of me. Oh, 95% cotton, 5% last name. It just takes me a while to get going. I'm sorry. Gotta, this 
one was a hard one. I couldn't find it. Where is your wine? Well, Janine, you are on a no drinking binge, so <laughs> I'm with you. I really don't need to put any of this, y'all. I had a glass before. <laughs> <laughs> Told you we were celebrating. <laughs> with the calm star. Y'all, I'm I'm struggle bots right now. Somebody paid like between 47 and 75. I'll put it at 75. Perfect. I'll put it at 75. Someone will tell you what it's worth. I believe that's right. Someone will just buy it. Yeah, she's charging her air her AirPods. I told her to just work because that's what we really need. It's just company. Right. Okay, I'm ready for pictures. Okay. Oh, dry January is over. Well, <laughs> well, in that case, party. Should I use this stock photo? I don't even know what it's going to be. Pretty rough. Oh. <sighs> What's the front one? What's the back? Who knows? All right, one item down. You want to check? Melissa is going to town. She is working. I'm just checking in on you, boo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So this is a vintage. Uh, vintage Abercrombie. Remember when Abercrombie was having a moment and then this was in my depo? Okay. Mm -hmm. And pitch yellow pea coat. <laughs> Carrie says, what are we, chop liver? We can do company. Oh, no, I wanted company for you guys. So you can see more than one person listening. So you know we're not in a vacuum telling you that everyone's working. <laughs> I wanted you to be able to see other people working, too. Because then it has that real, like, full feeling. Yeah. This one, right? Yep. In yellow? Yep. What are we, chop leather? Just relax. Take it easy. Take it easy. So, Lori, that's a very good question. It is my retail knowledge that anything with a 95 feels cheaper. Like if I did 75 versus 74.95, it feels cheaper at 74.95 and people are more likely to purchase it that's what i've learned working retail for my whole crazy life <laughs> that's why when you see things on sale it's always something 95 or 99. i choose 95 for no other reason than i don't know why i choose that what how what size is that coat uh, it's a small. Carrie does 99. Maybe I, do, I think I do 95 to like edge out the 99 people. <laughs> Sorry, Carrie. <laughs> And then someone is going to be on this live and they're going to do 94. And I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. I see you. Well, I'll start creeping down. Right. And then we're going to be like Walmart with a 96, you know? <laughs> well, there's some with 96. Funny.
What's the number? Four three three five. <laughs> you know, that's what my family calls me, actually. Brat. They call me Brat Teller. I didn't know if this works. No. Okay. Is Pico really two words? Hmm. What do you know? So. What do we put here, you guys? What do we put, Tim? Hmm? Cover type. What do you put? What do you put? What do you put? For the check? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. It's a, it's a welcome. There you go. Oh, it doesn't give us that. What? Really codes. What? Did it really not? Okay. It literally is none of these. <laughs> Nope. You guys got glitches. Is it 24 inches long? It's 22. They probably measured 24 from the top of the collar. I think it's going to go twelve ninety nine children. Thank you, Tammy. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Yes. There's a lot. Is it? I think a lot on Wednesday. I saw it and I was like, oh man, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Check my number with her. What do you, what do you call this thing? Oh, this, it, I call this, it needs to be steamed. <laughs> No. 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 I call it. I'm really thirsty. Do you have a drink either? I have a drink. Yes. Look how cute this is. Doesn't it look like gem in the holograms? <laughs> yeah. I used to have a Barbie shirt made of this exact material. Oh my God, you use also the great pants. I can't. <laughs> you should, because they are adorable. What's everyone listing tonight? Oh, what kind of notification, Megan? If you don't mind me asking. Because YouTube's been sending notifications about our videos to us, which is kind of weird. But if they're going out to you you guys, that's kind of cool. Yeah. That we, that we posted one? We're getting recommend recommendations. Oh, that's perfect. Finally. We haven't got recommendations in two years. I don't know why. It's just like a horrible relationship we had. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they heard me talking smack about them on the live yesterday. Yeah, right. About how I only get recommended three videos. <laughs> oh gosh, I just these. <clears throat> uh oh, is that it? Good, I'm very allergic to something in this garment. <laughs> That's not good. I'm allergic to everything. Why? I don't know. 
you guys ever hear the theory that preemie babies are allergic to everything? Because I was two and a half months premature almost. Well, two months for sure. You can be too allergic to everything because you don't develop like. Oh, yeah, I was. Immunity? I was early, not, not two months. Not two months. I was born at like a pound or like something. Four weeks or something. Well, that's cute. We were both preemies. I didn't know that about you. Mm -hmm. Let there be warm light. Yeah, it really does. It's nice. no, Every day you're no. so surprised. No. It's just color theory, boo. That's why the sun bouncing off of the water makes mm -hmm. the water look more blue. Even though the water's not blue, nothing has color. You know that, right? Yes. Okay. Probably because it leaked all over the place. Probably, you're right, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it's better. All right. Everlane zip up sweater. Did it shrink? Every Everlane sweater I've ever found at the thrift has shrunk. I found a super shrunk Pendleton shirt today. Get it. Wait, Chelsea still hears intense feedback. Are you sure it's not my steamer? Let's really have a let's have a moment. <laughs> I'm gonna do my steamer. I'm sorry. I always feel guilty when I ignore <laughs> notifications. That's so sweet. Girl, I just like swipe. <laughs> <laughs> like, I do not have time for this right now. Okay, the steamers calm down. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that was the feedback issue. Do you still hear it, Chelsea? Because it's done now. Couldn't let the, the garment go up like that. I'm sorry. I will be very, very aware that it's that loud. I'm just gonna have to list these. They're like flare legs. They're like little bell bottoms. Yeah, they? a little bit. All right, y'all, help me. What should I price these little bell bottoms at? Do I have a JC Penny tag? JC Penny. Is there an EY in JC Penny? Yeah. You know what, 50% polyester or something? I can't read the rest of the tag. They is from the early 1980s in Yes, London. yes, they is. Who's at our door? No, it's probably just a car driving by. It totally was the steamer. Okay, I need to steam before the <laughs> arrives. I'm sorry. What is that noise? <laughs> That's awkward. I'm so sorry. So I think that's what I was, um, Jennifer. A twelve week preemie. That's what I was too. Does he have like mad allergies and asthma and all that kind of stuff? So size like size six.
I just hear your because now I have the headphones in, so I can yeah. hear everything that they hear. Yep. I would fall asleep so fast in this. <laughs> but just because of this, the receipt printer and the paper crinkling. Yes, it's and... ASMR. <laughs> I would fall asleep immediately. <laughs> Bring us a whole new audience. Yes. Right. Those are at twill fabric. We size them. Um... Oh. Waist size is it's here somewhere. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, that's great. I didn't take a picture of it. Roll the tape. <laughs> uh, the way they were 22 hey, Kimmy. to 24, that was 19 and 10. Okay, this is so totally interesting. She said yes about her son, Jennifer yeah. did. Yep. He's allergic to red meat, <laughs> same, pine, and has asthma and sleep apnea. Wow. I am allergic to every tree ever, especially juniper. Oh, you and the juniper do not get along. An elm. Oh, and we have juniper and elm in Texas all winter. It's horrible. Um, but I would just like you to know that he's not alone. I think it's a preemie thing. Okay. I only have one lawn. Lame. I mean, I have two, but one of them works. <laughs> one of them is withered. Oh, no. My withered lung. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <clears throat> All right. So cute. Uh, maybe. She said, isn't juniper a type of pine and evergreen? Uh, not sure about that. I know that it has pollen. It yeah, I think it is. I think it is an evergreen. Because it's those, the big cone looking things. Yeah. I'm going to price these things at 50 bucks. Do it. See what happens. There is absolutely no comp, so I'm going to do what we do, right? Yep. Promote it at 5%. Get it seen. All right, I'm ready. Gretchen is confirming that it is indeed an evergreen. Thanks, Gretchen. So weird. These pants look full size. <laughs> like we need a thing. These look like they would fit a girl in. Sweet. So how do you, do you know what I mean? What do you mean? There's like no size reference. But is there in any picture? Not really. I mean, how do you know that, you know what I mean? You could say that about anything. I know. I just feel like we could do better. Be a yardstick or something. I know how people use a yardstick, but not my favorite, but it probably helps your brain to like understand what you're looking at. Oh 
my god melissa you are dropping it like a thought how do you do this on your back look how she is working look at this oh my god Damn oh my god die. my back is already hurting just looking at that <laughs> i wouldn't be able to stand back up like oh god <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lane Bryant. You guys, the sweater is everything. It's Who wears this size? Eighteen twenty, like super sparkly, rainbow sparkly. It looks like gem in the holograms. I had a Barbie outfit of this material. <laughs> It's pretty amazing. Okay, that's a pretty good picture of it. Sweet. <clears throat> There's one listed for twenty-seven fifty-nine in the sale. It sucks because the pictures don't really do it justice. <clears throat> no, they don't. Like I said, I think I got a good one of the, uh, you know, of the, the pattern and everything. Does it have like the collar in it or anything that will the make collar. it? So I want to use it as a cover photo, if it shows the. Oh no! I just took a close up of the, so you could see like how colorful it really was. Yeah, but could you take a close up of maybe like, can you come here? I have, I have this. Yeah, that's not good. Maybe like fold it and go, you know how you do like the dress shirts? Okay. It's just super cool. Who has a purple coat? Oh, wait, the one I think. The one you love. Gretchen said this is not her vibe. With some black moto leggings. <laughs> Those look really good. Hey, Sabrina, how you doing? How cute is your daughter? I mean, really. She's so cute. Melissa is going to town. Hey, Janice. Reselling roller coaster. I love that. <clears throat> Our sales have been so low. I know the fold is difficult in this little space because this thing, yeah. I know we are okay. I'll try. Dad's all stressed. Well, I just know how. You, if I fold it to make it look nice for the picture, I'm gonna have to redo it to make it fit in the bag because it's too wide. Well, we can just shove it in the bag. <laughs> Perfect. You heard it. Who cares about the bag? I, I'm having a rough time with this thing. I'm sorry. It's just not working out for me here. Just 
one sale so far this week. I feel this. Slow for everybody right now. But I did, you know, I've heard in retail, February is a slow month in general. So we can blame it on but and eBay's update, but I don't know if that's really fair. Is that going to go for a second? Yep. Cool. I am ready for pictures, and there you are. Her daughter was so happy someone on YouTube was talking to her. <laughs> we either talk to little kids or old adults. I love it when people are like, say hello to my mom. And I'm like, hi, mom. And then everyone's so impressed. It's very cute. So you have to condense everything. We full. Is that actually full? Yep. So you can't squeeze a couple more in? Maybe. You could probably squeeze it. Maybe. I believe in you. What is this, Melissa? Oshkosh Vintage. I love that. Oh, that is nice. Full length. Oh. How are you not going to keep this? Oh my gosh, she's such an extrovert that even her, like, we call it charades, are working. Work it, girl, work it. Oh my god, I love this. You might have to keep this. Yeah, those sleeves are short. <laughs> no, no, Gretchen's mom, we can't see you. <laughs> That's cute. So our office is full. I'm just letting you all know. Again. Again. So we have to condense everything again. Just got a little bit of crud. Be careful. Rushed. That was yours, wasn't it? Yeah. What is it? Paint or something? Who knows? Yeah, probably. Where's the picture of it folded? Did you not send it? I absolutely sent it. Oh, this one? Yeah. I'm telling you, it was giving me a hard time, and that's that's as good as it's going to get. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw your face. I <laughs> couldn't hide it. I've it's, never 20, had my face. it's like 25 bucks. Like, just, it doesn't have to be amazing. I know, Melissa's cracking everybody up. This is true, Caitlin. Our office didn't get rained on, so we have that. Yes. <laughs> Caitlin's office flooded Oof. yesterday. Poor thing. I think 
think sales will pick up this weekend. Super Bowl weekend is never good. Yeah. People have other things on their mind. What do, you, what do I call this? Green? No. REI. Oh, the, what is this thing? Jacket? It's like a, yeah, like a fleece. Not a fleece. Um, just like a lightweight outdoor jacket. Let me see if there's a style number or something in there. Oh, yeah, let's try. Okay, Melissa has any earbuds. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Everyone shield yourself. We're going to try. <laughs> so make sure your computer speakers are off. Okay, okay here we go. Yes. Are you speaking? Is it working? Yeah. Do I have a voice? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh my God, you're like me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I can't. I can't see. So I'm not even gonna do the thing. But you can. Can you turn, turn on my it? head? Or, or maybe I just need to turn on my speaker. These are my son's earbuds. I don't wear earbuds ever, so I stole these out of my marine son's room. So I have no idea how to oh, do this. It these. works. Everyone's hey. like, <laughs> I can hear you now too. Nice. Okay. I don't have, I still don't have YouTube pulled up. I'm just in that stream yard thing. Cause it was like looping through and I was hearing the same conversation like four times. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy time. I can't see comments. Okay. The phone is up there. Okay. Let's ask Melissa, should we list this? It's thrashed. What is thrashed it? Thrashed REI cell. R E I. Yeah, yeah. It's old, you old know what? Racket. I've never actually picked up any R E I. Um, I I normally leave it because I only look for like Patagonia. Right. Okay, cool. All right. So I think it's the style number uh, 835037. 835. What did you say? 037. Okay, so tell everybody about you, Melissa, now that we can hear you. Oh, yeah, I'm Melissa. Uh, about me, let's see. I'm a mom out of Oklahoma, and I resell full time um, to, you know, pay for my son's gymnastics and mm. my l life of leisure. <laughs> <laughs> I aspire just to be, you know, a beach bum always. And, uh, I mean, I love picking up the weird stuff. That purple jacket is a Joker jacket. It's from, it's a cosplay piece. Oh, nice. That should and be it well. Had it massive, uh, well, yeah, totally. It was covered in fake blood, but I've done mm -hmm. enough that I knew that I could get the blood out, but it's got a little bit of white face grease along the collar that I didn't get. So I may try that again, but they actually go for quite a bit. I love picking up cosplay pieces because I think, yeah, if you put the people who are just I just was recently shopping for some costume costumes for the play I'm working on, and all the LARP stuff that had LARP in it was over a hundred dollars. Wow. Mhm. Mm and there was no way to prove uh -huh. that. You just like put it in the title. So that means live action role play for those of you in the comments. I put uh, cosplay all the time, but I yeah. didn't think about LARP. I need to write that down. Yeah, put that in your in the title especially. Because somebody okay. will type in Joker LARP and that is a better costume than like a Joker costume. Yeah, because that somebody that's looking for live action role play stuff, they're gonna want higher quality mm -hmm. and and they're willing to pay for it, obviously. So don't that don't one is uh... that's like Spirit Halloween or you'll get a return for sure. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Okay, this one's not Spirit Halloween. This one's Batman branded. Yeah, it was probably good then. Which may still be Spirit Halloween. I don't know. I need to look that up. I just yeah. grabbed it. I thought it was cool. It's from the bins. It's a bins fine. Okay, that Oshkosh. I've never seen an adult Oshkosh piece of clothing. That's cool. That was really cool. Is it women? I didn't know that that was a thing. But it smells like an old lady. <laughs> 
Uh, you put you that in the description. Really good Poshmark closet. Go to Melissa's. It is really, really good. Her photos are good, and she sells things that are. Uh, how do I say that? I'm not. I don't want to sound offensive, Melissa, but things that are not necessarily the trendiest like sell for good money the things that you could pick up at the bins and wouldn't even think would flip for good money she's got them in her closet for like 80 dollars it's really yeah. good i, I think it just depends it. on what you call trendy like you know like trendy yeah. is subjective but if i you call want, it like western you, like, trash yeah. yeah don't always listen to youtube people say the people on youtube <laughs> i lost my earbuds I mean, it's probably worth like 15, 20 bucks. So just. What is it made of? Man, I wish oh. you lived next door because I need a button and I'm sure you have it. Mm -hmm. I could send you a button. Show me what you want because I have to send you all those MMs. <laughs> okay, see this? It's like. It, oh, light. Where the money? I want to see Melissa. Hold on. How do I make Melissa better? Here we go. Is it plastic? No. It, wait. It looks like it's supposed to be like one of those old school leather buttons. But it's plastic? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's on a metal base. Like, here's the. Uh oh. We've lost her. She's going to go get the buttons. <laughs> oh, I'm getting my buttons. Okay, let me see it. Oh, I love this. It's like Aztec. Yeah, I love this vest so much. And I didn't, um, I didn't catch that it was missing that middle button because it still kind of looked. It was the base piece was still there. Oh, okay. The top of it's like broken off. Mm. So I'm guessing I probably need to replace all three. Yeah. Yeah. But it's um, Ortega's all wool hand woven from New Mexico. This is like my favorite stuff to find. This is my vibe. I will fight you with the bins. I will hurdle a bin to grab this color. Yes. <laughs> But I don't think a lot of people would pick that up because they wouldn't know the brand. They do at my bins. I got to fight these hipsters, man. They are after it. Really? Or they know I want it, one of the two. And so. <laughs> it's picked up on what you like. They do. I actually have one guy that loves to throw me uh, jeans. And then I feel terrible. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. And then I like put their like terrible jeans. But he saw me getting jeans one day and then now he just hands me all the jeans that he comes across. I'm like, oh, these, <laughs> faded, these faded glories are so nice. Thank you. <laughs> and now, and then you feel guilty, like. Oh, that's why I have this stupid Dallas Cowboys jacket is because all the t-shirt kids wanted it. And I was like, ha I got it. And now it's got like a tear in it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> all right, Marisol, that's awesome. Yeah. Good job. Um, Global shipping program option is in your shipping policies. That's where you find that. I'm not on eBay questions. It's, a, sorry. it's just a checkbox. When you're, and even at the bottom, I think in, at the bottom of every listing, underneath your where you choose your shipping options, there's a little checkbox there for global shipping. Right? Is there like, yeah, it's in the shipping options. Is yeah. there like any? any I have nothing to go off of. I, is it Polar Tech? There's all these things. It doesn't say any of those things. No, this is probably like the cheapest thing REI makes. <laughs> Seriously, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't. It just. Look, I don't. It, I don't. I don't know what to. Call it like a. It's just like a. It feels like a fleece, but not like a fuzzy fleece. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like warm, but not real warm. And it's like, it's like, it's like a shirt, but not exactly a shirt. It's like a, it's a pullover, <laughs> but you could also step into it. <laughs> All right. Listen, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
awesome. Well, yes, we're jacking. I went into REI the other day just to go look at brands, and that stuff is expensive. So I would list it, even Thrash, because if you're going to go camping, you don't care and you don't want to buy nice stuff, you would buy the Thrashed one. Oh, I don't even know how warm it is. I, I don't have any details. I don't. There, I'm, I'm sorry. There are no details. I gave you every piece. Is of... it lightweight? Is it? Yes, I would call it lightweight for sure. Okay. What else do we need to know about it? It's oh. green. It's Again. got reflector stuff on it. Oh, it has reflector stuff. A little bit, like on the cuffs. Um, eight spots. Can you take pictures of them? Yeah. Perfect. On the front? It was on the sleeve, but there's like... You're not helping me out. You it's here. like a little bit of... I, don't, I told you. No, no, no. This is what happens. You get it. <laughs> you get it. Everybody, everybody, you get this. That's where we're going to watch Dan this one. <laughs> no, you can't do that to me. That's not fair. Oh. People want to see you. Yeah. That table want to see you. Look. They can see me from right there. <laughs> hey, guys. All right. So what do you want me to put here? Are you hiking? What do you want me to put? Oh. Here, so I'm weird about that. Why you don't have to over stick in? It's literally a checkbox. You don't have to like enter anything. Should I show you? I can maybe show you. Since I can't list this jacket. You can list this jacket. Just leave it like that. I mean there's you don't need to put anything else. Just put a price and list it. <laughs> you can do it, I believe in you. I can't do it. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Uncomfortable. I would never have listed this. I would throw it back to Goodwill. It's going to sell overnight. It's going to be amazing. No, it's not. It's going to be terrible. <laughs> and then we need a return. Casual travel. Uh, hiking. Sure. If it has the reflective stuff running, Hunting. Cool. Okay. Soft shell. Yeah, this is why I don't like stuff. I don't know what it is. It makes me absolutely so anxious. It's a pullover, right? Like, no. Was it a, a full zip? Oh, okay. I wouldn't pay attention. Sorry. They don't have that option. There's like a jacket, you know, full zip. Probably windbreaker then. That's polyester. On the outside? Blend, yeah. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to put a windbreaker, but it's like not. Oh gosh. <laughs> Bless your heart. I cannot do this. He's making me do this and I wanna I'm about to throw my computer. <laughs> do you wanna play with these removable shoulder pads? Oh, I'll make you feel better. Okay, y'all, I'm not digging these shadows in this night listing. See? Did not you do the thing? With the thing? I have, the thing. I have all the lights. 
I'm just having to dance around them a lot. I'm listing this at twenty dollars because you're not helping me. No, that's exactly what I was trying to tell you. Like, it's not probably not worth anything more than that. That's why I'm trying to. It's like not a big deal at all. This is a like a T-shirt. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Well, the good thing is the people who know that REI stuff, they know what it is. You don't have to tell them. Really? I think outdoor people are like, it's not their first rodeo, you know, so they just, they know what they're looking for. Maybe that's why I'm so uncomfortable. I have no, I, I am not outdoors at all. Look at all these people. <laughs> just listen. <laughs> At least if you're neurotic like me, you know you're not alone. Can I send a picture? Well, I think that alternate is like, I don't even have enough of my floor. I'm like, here's two floors and half a wall. My baseboard's fake. and. Oh, well, you want to buy my jacket? <laughs> it's all over the place. It works, though, right? I think so. I mean, I sell a lot of these dumb trench coats, so <laughs> somebody must be like, eh, whatever. Okay. Okay. My Poshmark sales picked up today. It's their pictures during the day. Yeah, so normally I do that. I had Gretchen help me today because I really wanted to struggle with this to see, especially during the winter months. I can't always list when it's daytime. I have a life. I got things to do and we're out and I'm chasing, you know, a kid and stuff. So I wanted to force myself to create this anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like it. I can do it. I don't like it. W. I also believe that citizens are having a moment. Citizens for humanity? Mm hmm. Like the classic ones with the pockets? Yeah. Hudson. I mean, Hudson. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Hudson. I did not mean citizens for humanity. Strike that from the record. I meant Hudson. <laughs> Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, wait, seriously? <laughs> no, no, I meant Hudson. These ones with the flap pockets, they're selling really well right now. Are those a flare? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. Like, I mean, that's what I'm wearing. You're wearing my jeans? I think so. It looks exactly like what I'm wearing. I just listed some Judy Blues that have a massive, I mean, the flare is like this big and they have the white, like the stars that have been bleached on them. No Massive way. flare and they fit me and I put them on, but it just sounds ridiculous when you walk. I have, like have to just love them, but it sounds, it's like quick, 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 quick. <laughs> <laughs> My 15 year old was laughing at me. Mom, why are your jeans so noisy? <laughs> Sorry. It's like democracy. Okay. I never so, picked up Judy Blue. Hmm? That brand Judy Blue, I had never picked that up. It just had that insane flare, and I'm picking up anything with a flare. Yeah, that brand, um, Amber like Rico. Ah, sells it. My, I can't, my ear holes are weird. Um, Amber Rico sells that brand a lot. Just More boutique, normal. right? More normal. Who's a picky? What do you say? You guys had me so cracked out looking for Eskandar, and I almost like attacked an old lady walking out of TJ Maxx because I'm like, I bet that she wears it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, she just was that lady. And I'm like, do you have it on? Oh, totally. Totally. Give it. No, people are. And, and they always just, 
they look so put together. And I'm like, how did you wear these grandma pants and look this good? I don't get it. Maybe I'll figure it out one day. I just will never be. I will. That's not who I'm going to be. My mom was like, oh, um, you're 40 now. Are you going to cut your hair? I was like, yeah, no. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I spring installed a pair of Judy Blues overnight. No way! I know mine are priced too high, but I want to wear them. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, there it is. Here, I haven't put them away. Look at this thing. It's like a mermaid tail. Oh, I love it. Like a fray hem, oh, wow. super high waist. I mean, I'm the only person on the planet that could even wear these at six feet tall. Like they come up to my ribs. Wow. They are the longest. I don't know, I keep them for a minute. I'm gonna wear them once. One yeah. trip to Billy Bob's in these jeans and then I'll sell them if you buy. Billy Bob. What? Billy Bob. It's the country know. music dance place. Oh, from Pure Country? What? Girl, I didn't, I'm not from here. I'm from Washington, D.C. with a monument. <laughs> <laughs> not know what y'all are talking about. Girl, it's like a heartbeat from your house. It's in Texas? It's in Fort Worth. <laughs> it's in the stockyards. You know, with like the longhorn. It's on Pure Country. I know about this from the George Strait movie. I got this. <laughs> I know George Strait, okay? My so. parents partied at Billy Bob's. My parents, my dad turns 80. Like, it's been around forever. They have so many stories that they don't remember about Billy Bob's. What? We went to Billy Bob's and tried to go see... Um, I had no like idea. <laughs> That's it. We're going to a country concert. You're going to hate every second of it. Okay. He was at Austin City Limits, and I have been failed to get tickets. Hey, I tried. I'm still upset about it. I still cry about it nightly. <laughs> Who? Who's there? I think it's rough. George Strait, man. Oh. So I saw him back in 96. 95, 96. I saw him in 96. And the man never moves. Mm -hmm. He plays the guitar. And he was so hydrated, he couldn't remember the lyrics. Nuh-uh. Not my George. <laughs> well, the 90s were, I don't think he's like that now. But yeah, the, that late 90s was not a good concert time for George because he just was, we know all the lyrics. But he didn't remember them. <laughs> I don't need you talking about my king like this. I do not need this in my Hey, life. I had my windows down in my truck today, jamming out to his Troubadour song. Yes, see? I don't know what I did. I can't. All of our keto recipes are up here. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. It's our keto <laughs> Although, you still have to put that in the group. Our recipe. Yeah, I know. I gotta write it. I, just, I gotta write it down. I know. Okay, we're gonna set these priority. That song Troubadour is in a show we just watched. Oh, so good. It's at the end. I guess it was Ozark. Oh. Yeah. That's a great mm -hmm. song. In the last episode, that song, I won't say what's happening, but it appears. I haven't watched that. I'm still working new outlet. Hmm? Have you watched the show at all? No. Oh, it's so good. I don't watch a lot of TV, y'all. I don't have any time. I know. I feel this. We watch one show a night after this. I seem to only get to watch TV if I have some kind of horrible illness. Okay, I'm not gonna shoot this. I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like any of this. Hey, this Abercrombie t-shirt has a date on it of 2015. 
Is that good or bad? What do you well, I don't know. I don't really think it's worth anything, but I guess in 2015, they did a single stitch. I mean, it's legit. It totally would have made the t-shirt guys have a coronary for a minute. So oh, yeah, they, they started, well, I don't know. Recently they started doing, you know, they did that in 2015. Yeah. I think this goes on the Depop for about $22. So no biggie. I bought it for three seventy nine dollars just in case. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Whatever. I look how he's popular right now for some reason. Did you oh, see that just quote? Kind of frustrating Facebook experience. Hold on. A woman is claiming that she ordered a child's dress, which I have no record of an order was made, and is asking for a refund. <laughs> Weird. That is weird. I yeah, Chelsea told him to contact Facebook Marketplace customer service. Yep. Should I try to do anything else? No. Nope. Maybe block them. No. <laughs> okay, Hi. Melissa is asking if Billy Bob's has a mechanical bowl. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yes, they do. Okay. And Teresa is asking if we like Indian food. Yes, I do. Yes, we do. Yes. Uh, we have a. That. Oh yeah, I'm gonna look this up. Okay, hold on. I got it right there. Chelsea just blocked her. That's exactly what you do. Good girl. Way to have boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm taking a picture. Of <clears throat> okay. These are some novelty print, y'all. This Talbot stuff sells for me. I do not care. It's a Jimmy Pulitzer. No, never mind. It's Laura Pulitzer. <laughs> That's what sells too. Really? Pulitzer. Well, you know, I feel like we've sold these before. I know, I feel that too. Right? We've definitely sold these pants before. Dude, y'all have some seriously bougie stuff in your eBay store. It is nice. Why are you creeping? You know why I'm creeping. You know why. Because you're trying to get some bougie stuff? Because <laughs> I decided today, because I'm a seven, that I was going to teach myself how to play whatever that stupid game is. No. I'm stuck on yard darts. That's not it. What's it called? Golf. That disc golf. Disc golf. Oh, oh. disc golf. She wants you to send her some discs. Uh, no, okay. y'all's discs are expensive. I'll just go find some cheap ones. You're fine. Oh, he doesn't. You have more? Yeah, I mean the ones I listed, those are like never been thrown and actually worth some money. Oh, he has one. Yeah, not one. those. Yeah. She wants the cheapos. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. yeah. You gotta I'll play it against four What's the best place to go for cheap golf discs? Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, we do. So I went we to the took, park today oh, to kill time. Yeah, if you're if you're starting out, don't buy new. Get used ones because you will throw them oh. in the water. Um, this course doesn't have any water, so that's not a problem. Okay, but still, still cheap just because my attention spans like a squirrel. So right. <laughs> so we took a whole van full of stuff to play it against sports. All sports were skis and soccer balls and. I mean, snow boots, the whole band was full. Dan comes back. <laughs> they didn't take any of it. And I'm like, why? Is it like bad stuff? And he was like, no, literally, they don't take skis they or snowboards. Snow snow snowboard yeah, because there's no market for it. They literally don't take sporting goods. I'm like, what do they sell? He's like, only disc golf and golf. <laughs> oh. They kept the golf bag in one golf bag. <laughs> oh my <laughs> word! Hey, you still got sixty hey, bucks. Hey, Katrina. The real real's taking that. You can send your skis to the real real. Yeah, if they're designer. <laughs> oh, were you they not? I just assumed. <laughs> uh, these are just regular. I mean, they could be. I don't know. I don't know anything about skis. Nothing. Zero. Bouge and trap. I don't know what this. You're saying, Megan, I don't understand this word. I might have to Google this. Have those ever been worn? 
They have, like no washware. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. I don't think new without tags. Well, you could probably get away with calling them that. No flaws. No. The first time you wash those pants, they look fake. Like, look at those pants. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been one. Somebody was like, I'm bored of pineapples, they're not my thing. <laughs> Yeah. I don't. I think we've sold these before, but we sell Calvitz pants like this all the time. They have a novelty. Remember ice cream cones, airplanes. Yeah. <laughs> Hot air balloons. Where did this come from? This is off in the death pile. Okay. Oh, bougie. Boogie and trap. What's trap? Trap is music, right? It's like EDM. House music, isn't it? Trap music. No, I don't know. I'm so old. boogie it means like high end, like bourgeoisie. I don't know what trap means. People are saying Dan's like googling it. No, I'm making it. It sounds nuts. <laughs> I'm not cool enough for many things. I didn't see a price on those, so they were probably... They're free. Is it a cotton blend? Yeah. I think it's just 5% spandex or something. Is it 12? 97 cotton. Um, no, it has a, uh, uh, yeah, that's not an option on here. A hook and bar is not an option. It's not suck. Yeah. It's like a very common closure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does it say? 8.5? Uh-huh. Oof. I'm gonna go up to nine. Could it go up to nine? That, that's the difference between a low rise and a mid rise. And oh wait, eight point five is on mid as well. Tommy's finally getting psyched. I thought you had a podcast, Tommy. Where's your podcast? I really want to look it up. What? I'm my picture today. I'm losing my mind today. I don't know what's happening. I'm all scattered. It's because we sold a house. It doesn't suck in I mean, it has, but... Oh, honey, I don't know anything about trends. Ever since I stopped teaching high school six years ago, and now I don't know. Saturday's the podcast. Oh, that's perfect because we don't do anything on Saturday. They want to know if you're getting a cold. Saturday's the podcast. Oh, Me? No, why? Because you're all snippy. Am I? No, I'm not even paying attention. I don't even notice it. He has allergies. He's allergic to the juniper. And the weather's changing today. It was all rainy and yeah. gross. Are y'all getting that yep. crazy weather? Hmm? We're supposed to have like snow and tornadoes tonight. Oh oh fun. Snow natoes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we had pokey tonight because we were celebrating. Schools only on Fridays. So. Well, actually, we didn't have time to have dinner because Dan had to go to the lake. Yeah, because I had to drive an hour one way to go sign the closing documents. Yeah. But we didn't know what time we were closing. We waited all day. We had no idea. And then finally they were like, at four, can you be there at four? And it was like two. And we were like right in the middle of filming. That was nuts. 
That's crazy. They ran you all over the place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't go to Prosper. I don't know why, because our realty's here. Yeah, That's I don't weird. understand. I have no idea why the title office was was in Prosper. No idea. What do I know that's in Prosper? No. Oh, is that the um, the trucker hats? The um, Uncle Becca's trucker hats. Doesn't she have a store? Uncle Becca's inappropriate Uncle trucker Becca. hats. <laughs> I'm learning a lot tonight. She has a brick and mortar in Prosper, Texas. Well, there you go. Yeah, she's awesome. She's hysterical. Um, she um, makes trucker hats. That's all she makes. And so you can have custom ones, and they're highly inappropriate. And she's at all the music festivals all over Texas. And I'll leave it at that. Y'all can go find her on Instagram. She's funny. That's on closing time the whole way up there. <laughs> I should have. It's a. It's pretty good. Should have. You don't have to go home if you can't. Stay right. No, I was actually. I mean, to be. If you really want to know what I was listening to, I was listening to my Spotify playlist for the gig I'm getting ready to play. Where's the gig? It's in Vegas. Oh, three eleven day. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. March 9th. And then we're there till the 12th, uh, 13th. Yep. Hey, if you thrift, you get to write the whole trip off. Oh, we will thrift. I'm too worried. <laughs> I don't know if gonna You're going to run into um, Bon V. She lives in Vegas now. Oh, does she? Oh, sorry. Do you follow her? So, Laura Megan's is a mobile notary. But we couldn't because it was so late. The, we didn't have the documents or whatever, and so we couldn't schedule the whole person. Whole, it was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. I wouldn't have expected anything else with the way this whole transaction has taken place. So I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go get in the car. I'll be wherever you want me to be at whatever time. Let's just make this happen. Tommy, you have a 311 connection? Is that true? Is that what you're saying right here? He says, oh, cool. My best friend will be at 311 Day with Nick Texum. Nice. We are friends with that band. And Dan's band open. Well, he does the pre-party. Yeah, we're the playing band. the pre-party. We have, we're very, very close with that band. Okay. And all those bees. And then we're doing an affliction swim charts. You're terrible, right? They're going to sell over in the those are going to sell so fast. I know. This guy came through Goodwill yesterday wearing so an affliction much. shirt. We went through every rack as fast as possible, pulling every piece that even looked anything sort of like affliction. Really? And was like yelling to his significant other. It was, it was everything that you, I mean, you couldn't have written an SNL skit anymore for the affliction band than this guy. I was just like trying not to stare and also like mesmerized. Oh <laughs> he had like no. the bleach blonde tips. Tommy, yeah. my childhood best friend runs his Twitch and Discord. I probably know your childhood best friend. <laughs> I don't want to get too much into it, Tommy, on the public here YouTubes. Right, send us send us a message on Instagram in the chat. <laughs> Um, is this a samurai? Like back to real life. Uh huh. Yeah. How do you spell Sam? S A M U R A I. Samurai. What size? I'm trying to. The tag is like completely worn off. I'm not sure. They were either. They're probably 32. Gretchen, this shirt is hideous. You should just mail it to me. Nobody else is going to want it. So. Just put Samurai, huh? Yeah. Just list this thing is like 40 bucks. Oh, man. Megan's uh, husband is a mobile notary in Utah. Oh, cool. 
our it was crazy. We had to get this thing done by five o'clock, and this lady was like, oh, "I can't make it out there." And it was at the last minute. Like we were in the middle of filming a YouTube video, and she's like, "Can you please?" Uh, like. I don't understand. Like, this is a big title company. They had literally, there's literally an office two minutes away from my house. Like, when I had to sign the, these affidavits for when they didn't close, like, they had no issue sending the paperwork over there. But I guess sending an, an entire file, closing file, and all that stuff to a different office takes some time and uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> like I said, I was willing to do just about anything to get this to get this deal done today uh Jimmy, let's know if you have some 41. i know i mean personally i guess I think I saw him at the Warped Tour. Sounds about right. First class. Everyone's like, you know, six degrees from separation. I love that. Yeah. live in Charlottesville. I have many Dave Matthews connections. He says, if you have a Dave Matthews connection, I'm all in. <laughs> they are the end all be all for me. Same, Tommy. Same. I'm ready. Yeah, I grew up in the Dave Matthews days. Seeing him in coffee shops. Was, now that I think about it, it's like insane. Does he know you? Does he call you at home? No. <laughs> I forget you can hear me. I got another <laughs> I keep trying to tell Dan we need to move there. He said Charlottesville is amazing. I agree. But we live in Dallas. Fine. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. Everybody's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, we will not ban Gretchen. She's fabulous. She has her opinions. It's fine. I encourage you to maybe explore a little more of Dave. <laughs> okay. The I live know? album's pretty epic. Uh, what? I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're gonna switch over to plush. I, how many clothes do we do? Um, not as many as we can see. Has a Win Dixie? No, I don't from the south. I know a Win Dixie. <laughs> so we're next to the Piggly Wiggly. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> I think we did seven clothes. I, I've done what? one. I've almost done one. Thank you. I have one. a lot. Okay. Uh, do you want to do bigs or littles? Just give me the ones on top first. <laughs> Here we go. This one, that one was pretty good, right? The purple sparkly horse? Yeah. I'll bring this one out. Oh, okay. this one's good. Here. Oh, hold on. We did. Didn't we do seven? Yeah. You sure. 
No, eight with the jacket. That was in the box. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like peaches or basil. Gretchen's airing out her grievances. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> good night, Janine. Have a good one. Janine's from night. Canada. She was missing for a while, but I tracked her down. Okay, style tags on Poshmark. Does anybody actually search with these things? I mean, I do them. Are they just a complete waste of time? I don't know. If it's anything like Depop, it's good. Yeah, but do you go to Poshmark and, like, if I needed a rash guard, would I put in surf, athleisure, or, I mean, I would just type in rash guard. Yeah. So then in your in your but style like, tag if you were a surfer, you would be like surf suit. I don't know. <laughs> for people that don't know exactly what they're looking for. Does that make sense? Water shirt. Exactly. <laughs> still, it's still not under athleisure. Like I've never once been like, I'm gonna go find me some athleisure. Oh, well, you're not from Highland Park then. This is our S. Yeah. yeah. Right there. All these people, that's the keyword around these parts. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the thing. Like all these brands, like M.M. Le Fleur, you know that brand? Oh, yeah. They're making like basically juicy couture velour jumpsuits again. And they cost yeah. like hundreds of dollars at leisure. Okay. But even then, I would, if that was who I was as a human, shoot me. But also, I would type in Juicy Couture. I wouldn't type in Athleisure, right? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I don't just going to keep doing I've never it. Used it on Posh, but I do on Depop. Because Shawana told me to do that. So. I did the, Depop, the sure. Depop for a minute. But it just seemed like... I didn't like it. I think I'm too old. Yeah, I'm too old. This is way too old. I was like putting granny core and like metal core and I couldn't do it. it like, eh, no more thing. But I, I do all of that in my Poshmark. I use granny core, witchy core, princess core. <laughs> Why? I just make it up and put core at the end. I do. Like, <laughs> I don't know all these things. It works. Grandpa core. Okay, Tommy's telling you that tags help in saturated listings on Posh. Tommy, can you expand on this? Tommy. Tommy has a podcast on Saturdays, everybody. You should go listen to it. I've never listened to it, but <laughs> join me on Saturday listening. <laughs> I've never listened to a podcast in my life. <laughs> I have enough voices in my head. <gasps> You're going to get your podcast... Um, first time with Tommy on Saturday. <clears throat> mm -mm. Uh, Gretchen, I would price that hideous shirt at like a dollar fifty. <laughs> no, actually, well, what's the label? Is there a brand? Okay, everyone's saying that tags help. Hold on. I mean, I do it. Uh, Andy Picker says tags do help. Okay. Might as well put it. He was looking for that klepto girl. Truth. Oh, vintage Victor Costa. You did not need to. Look. I mean, honestly, me, I probably price that shirt at seventy five dollars because it's only special if you tell everybody it is. <clears throat> so he said, oh, are you, you can see comments now. Never mind. I've got it on my phone, so I pulled it up. <clears throat> I got it. 
No, it totally makes sense. Thanks, Tommy. And I, I mean, I'll just keep doing it. I just tend to repeat exactly what I'm saying, but I'll just keep repeating if that's what works. Oh, good, Gretchen. I'm glad you thought that too. I find that with my vintage stuff, if I price it just ridiculously high, it sells. Somebody's going to think it's it's fabulous. And if I price it at $35, which is what I would go pay for it at a thrift store that's like a, a vintage thrift store, it'll just sit forever and nobody will pick it up. So mm -hmm. I price my stuff really high. Like, like uh, I can sell this luggage under my eyes as it gets later. <laughs> like, it's like this. See, now you know how I feel up in here. I'm like... Fix my vintage? lighting there. <laughs> Look at this. <gasps> shirt I bought. And it's short in the front and long in the back. It's amazing. Oh, that's fabulous. I know. Who is it? It's it's homemade. It's couture. Of it is. <laughs> That's how we're going to list it. It's one of a kind for a fashion show in 1968. I made that up would stories. That so fast. Do you sell some of your vintage in those um, Facebook groups on Facebook? Fa oh, duh. No, the Facebook groups on Twitter? No. <laughs> the Facebook groups? Wait, I don't, I'm not in any vintage groups. So there's like banging, what's it called? Banging something vintage group. Man, they've got great stuff. And I've sold and a couple of my it. things. They will pay good money for it. Yeah. Well, I have so many vintage things. We're going to empty out the storage unit this month. And I'm just, it breaks my heart because I haven't ever sold anything vintage because I keep it all for costumes. But I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to sell it because when I need a costume, I can just buy it. Yep. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Because you're right. Storage over the years, like I could buy really good vintage pieces specifically for what I need. It's taking me a long way to come here. Uh, okay. It's called Funky Gnarly Bangin' Vintage, 60s through 90s only. But then there's a whole group that is like the Funky Gnarly Bangin' Vintage, but it's the damaged pieces. So it's just people who want to re do mm -hmm. something. So a great place to sell things that are more than I want to fix, but somebody else is happy to do it. So. Oh my God. Can you I've, send me those? I've, I've, yeah. 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 Um, I've sold a couple of things with them and then I just love watching what they have. It gives me an idea of what to price stuff at, mm -hmm. whether or not people are buying it off that group. I need you to put your head in this and tell me if it's kids or men. I mean, adults. <laughs> Yeah. Just pull your head and then I'll take a picture. Dan does anything. Like, could a dad wear it or would a little kid have to wear it? That's kind of dad like. Kind of. Go and get yourself. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you my have word. A large, medium, or small head? Small, I have to wear small heads. See, it seems kind of shallow. Yeah. So what should I lose it as? Kids. You have kids? Yeah. Do you want to put it on my head? Yeah. I have kid size head. Oh no, I'm gonna mess my hair. Yeah, no. My hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want pop. Mm -mm. Tracy feels inspired to join a banging group. <laughs> Say. They're going to get me in trouble. And I was just quoting the name of a Facebook group. Right? It's, that's a legit name. Y'all, the people are already at our former house. Well, they own it now. We're getting alerts. Upper. Okay, uh, I think with Posh changes, I would use every tool they have so you don't have to make videos complaining about Posh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you win. Where's the award button? <laughs> How do I award a comment? <laughs> it's not wrong. 
I find it's very true. Time a platform introduces a new feature, if you use it, your listing gets pushed. Should I mess with them and like turn the AC like way down or stop? <laughs> <laughs> Dan's trying to mess with the new buyers because we have a, um, like a, you know, like a security, security system. system where we can control everything. We haven't disconnected I it yet. I think it's haunted. Twelve hours ago. We're gonna do that tomorrow, right? Well, I have to. There's like a thirty-day notice. Like they're gonna bill me for one more month. But yeah, I'm gonna disconnect. <sighs> Okay. I don't know how that works though. Like, I mean, if I'm still signed into the app and the system is still connected to my account for another month, uh, can I remotely arm and disarm the security system and I mean change the thermostats? And... <laughs> Stop it. That's bad yeah, karma. It's, it's funny. I unassociate that doorbell from my Google account too. <laughs> This little purple horse is common well. He's really good. Yeah, look at this thing. <laughs> like, what is our life, you know? What is this purple horse? This I wish actually... you lived next door and I could just give you my eBay pile. Here's crap that I thought that I thought I was going to sell on eBay. You want some Jeep? Oh, wait, we looked at something Jeep. Remember? Covers. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh no, those are actual Ford Jeep. Yeah, they're just seat covers. Just listen to them. Awesome. People are crazy. I know. Well, like, I was gonna just—I was like, I'll just put them on posh. Now they're covered in dog hair. So I did all the plush today that I showed you guys in the video, and this one didn't have a tag. So I sorry, you can see it. <clears throat> I Google lens it, and this is worth the most out of all of them. Yeah, who is he? He's familiar. He's a Squishmallow. What is it? This one. It is a Squishmallow? Yeah. Right. It's a rare one. Rare. It's called... Oh, wait, I lied. It's not Squishmallow. It's called Animal Adventure Red Bear Squishy Plush. Fabulous. Okay. Fine. I actually went down the Squishmallow aisle at Walmart today just... So that I wouldn't get excited when I found the Walmart ones. There's a ton. Oh, that's such a good idea. How do we know which ones are rare? Like, I mean, you gotta check I every one of them. It was, uh, yes, five. I have some of the five below ones. Are yeah, those and rare? then add just. I don't know. I've got a pug listed for eighteen dollars. He's been listed for like two months, but nobody's touching it. And then I have one of the. Um, I have one of the Justice. I don't know where it went. It's over here somewhere. The little I just keep finding the little keychain ones. Oh yeah. The Justice. And then this little do. thing that's not a squishmallow, it just feels like a squishmallow, but mm -hmm. it's not. So these just turn yeah. into dog toys. Yeah, it's just junk. Oh well. <laughs> well if Tommy said, well, if the stream gets shut down, we know they went to watch the new owners break into the house. <laughs> I wish we had cameras in there. I want to know what they're saying. That's true. Chelsea says she just comps the Squishmallows before she ever buys them. That would be a smart true. thing to do. Because I've got all these over here that I just grab. Because, you know, you're just grabbing stuff so fast and they take up a ton of space. And bin, yeah. Yeah. No, I just have too many. But I even comp that stupid oh, Harriet the Owl thing. And then what you could do is lot them all up. I have a big bin where I'm going to lot them all up, and they do sell. Like, even That's if they're a good common. Idea. I've been doing that a lot with uh, the Build-A-Bear clothes. I just have, every time I grab, I, I have, like, a Build-A-Bear banana that I got in this last bag of junk. But it's been doing really well. I sold a bunch of Legos. That did okay. I sold those two Stitch stuffed animals yesterday. And I sold a Furby. So, I mean, that kid stuff is good. That is not my jam. And I got kids. I mean, I have three. Um, but 
I would much rather sell belt buckles and hats and leather than toys. I have to remind myself, like, just because everybody else is doing it, doesn't mean that I have to grab all the plush. <laughs> it's totally just peer pressure. No, no, I think that's such a good point. Because we enjoy selling plush, but we don't enjoy selling hard goods. So, like, we're not going to pick them up anymore just because everybody else picks them up. Like, you can make $100 on a printer, but we don't enjoy selling it. But it's hard to, like, recognize what you do until you do it long enough. And you realize you start dreading things. And you're like, oh, I'm not going to do that anymore. I work for myself. Why am I doing something I don't like? I, well, this one... I gotta fix that. No, we had eight. Right, so now you need three more to get to 12. Okay. Um, so Melissa Bassard says turn that shit off. Oh, so turn it off because um, you don't want to have to deal with a legal mess. Is there a way to turn it off? Turn the security there? Like, I could just log out of the app. Yeah, like log out so yeah. that we don't have any. Yeah, any yeah. trouble there? Yeah. Yeah, Teresa said the Squishmallow 8-pack at Costco. I saw all those Costco. We had a whole conversation about Costco Squishmallows. Mm -hmm. uh, there's money to be made. That's the thing is if you get there when they first get those pallets out and you want to buy several, they're flipping pretty fast. So, I mean, if that's your business model and that's what you want to do, then then that's super fun. Yeah, you know, Gretchen, I think I think because I have kids and I, like my big kids, I my my kids are like grown, I guess. And uh, I mean, I just I've lived that toy life. I kind of don't get a lot of joy having toys everywhere again. So mm -hmm. <laughs> like, ugh, I don't want to clean these things. I've already been there. So I would much rather pick up vintage trucker hats and. I really do well with vintage belts, crazy like leather and handmade. I just sold handmade snakeskin belt. Mm -hmm. And if I'm picking up that kind of stuff at the exact same price, you know, belts are 99 cents, plush is 99 cents, then I'm going to pick up what I'm having fun with. And yep. I haven't lost any money and it was nice to try. It's so kind of the great thing about our job is we can be like, me, eh, no. Okay, here, let me make some money. <laughs> And then we'll just do something else. So mm -hmm. just try it. <clears throat> I really thought I was going to do jewelry for a little bit. Nah. Mm -mm. No. I do not enjoy that either. But Dan does. Jewelry? Mm -hmm. Like women's jewelry? All the pieces? He's Maybe. very good at it. I'm better at watches. Watches. He loves watches. I could not care less about a watch. Nice. Well, I picked up a Mark Jacobs watch and I comped it at the store and then I brought it home and it's been sitting here for a month because it needs a battery. Mm. No. <laughs> Get a whole okay. little kit. All the batteries, all the things. Yeah, I can change the watch batteries now. It's a tinkerer. Well, in my court appointed Dan time, he can. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You can book appointments through our Facebook page now. <laughs> we get notifications every day. Like, oh. We can, we can accept customer appointments. I was watching a Thrift of Life he his video today and he was holding up this shirt and he's like, Does anybody know what this fabric is? And I'm like, hey, Amy, 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 where's Amy? <laughs> How do I, get... <laughs> I didn't watch his video yet. I'll look at it. Um you need some help with some fabric. Look at Tommy's comment. He's saying He's asking you a question, Melissa. <clears throat> Where do I sell hats best? Vintage trucker hats have tanked for me on eBay. I only sell on Poshmark, guys. Uh, I have two things for sale on eBay. A whole two. I'm a, I'm a two seller. <laughs> so I only sell them on Poshmark, and I just sold um, a vintage Masters green baseball cap for $25. Um, I have a lot of hats listed that are not selling. I, I picked up a ton of NASCAR that I'm down to $15 on. NASCAR is not having a thing. Um, 
any kind of vintage Patagonia goes gangbusters um, fast and for a lot, like price it stupid high. And then like Sims fishing brand, Sims is a like a rod and reel or something. <clears throat> um, they have some kind of art thing. Anyway, I just found one of those hats. But I've got some other vintage stuff that it's it's not... I guess I just don't mind holding on to those hats. I wear a lot of vintage hats. I actually had one on earlier and I took it off because of the lighting, but um, I don't mind having them around. I like, I like looking at them. <laughs> mm -hmm. My kids like them. My son loves them. My son always steals my hats. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe summer's coming and then that'll pick back up. If it's, if you got Von Dutch or um, stupid Ed Hardy, those fly. Ridiculous. It just needs to be that that Y two K stuff again. Or again, I mean, I should say. Yeah, again. We don't pick that stuff up. We should. We did pick up an Ed Hardy like ninety set, so overnight to England. Okay. This thrift store had an Ed Hardy's person to she had it marked at twenty dollars. <laughs> like, like, no. Okay. Oh, I think it came free with perfume, honey. Like I don't think that. You tomorrow, Megan. Uh, yes, Chelsea, you're correct. Kumon shelves behind us. The three stripe are supposed to be great. God, we have we have a huge box of hats in our garage that we got in a state sale. Do you remember that, Dan? Do I remember what? I think it's probably spring break. I bet okay. that the the college kids will want hats. Spring break is coming. So I would say, I would say for spring break and summer, maybe it's a seasonal thing. What? Tommy, have you been selling them a long time? Is this a normal dead time of year for hats? I've only been doing this literally one calendar year. So my information is not thorough. Mm -hmm. Good night, MB. I like her hibiscus picture. But you know who that is, right? That's Melissa. I'm the photo cave. Uh, I'm the only Melissa. Sorry, it's just me. <laughs> 14 Melissa's. Oh, now it's doo doo. That's how the Dogma DVD did this dirty. It used to be like $100, and now it's like seven. Here, look, Tommy, if you like vintage hats. I bought these out of a guy's um, trunk. They're like Formula One. <laughs> Aren't they great? I love this with the... I've got one. The, with these, these actually sell really well. Uh, whatever this thing is. What are these called? Mm -hmm. They're not feathers. Are they supposed to be feathers? I have no idea. I think they're feathers. Um, my NRA hat has that, and I could have sold that a thousand times, but I have a huge head and a very limited amount of hats that fit. And that one vintage NRA hat fits my head and comes down and like touches my ears. So I won't sell it for anything, but rednecks love me every time I'm getting diesel for my truck. They want to buy my hat. <laughs> Scrambled eggs. Is that true? I'm very gullible. What? You're talking about the like the the laurel? They're like some kind of leaves, aren't they? Yeah. Laurel leaves, aka scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I love it. Yeah. All right, we're about. Tommy, to I'd be real curious to go to. I would go to Depop and hit solds. Now I want to go to Depop and hit solds on hats and see what's selling. There's got to be some five panel, like there's some. You're gonna, trendy. We need to, yeah, there's something going on and we're just not, it's not there. Whatever it is, it's not the trucker hat or it's not. I need to go down to the Paseo and go. You go pay attention on the TikToks. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm 90% gullible. It sounds like a trap. 
later I'll be like. <laughs> We're just waiting for photo room to finish. Or 30 more seconds. How long do we do this? We're almost done. But you can get off whenever you want to. <laughs> yeah, we're going. We're, we're eight minutes. We're eight minutes past. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I don't remember. Our, it's not Friday. We're not doing the West Coast. I'm out on that, y'all. No, we're supposed to be done at nine thirty. This was fun though. Did you get but all you your stuff done? Totally fine. Don't feel obligated. Ah, uh, it's not obligated. I'm a seven. This is fun. There's people to talk to. I'm a seven. My phone's going very slow at the moment. You're on the radio. I am. I just checked that. Hey, you need to do that M&M listing so I can send it to base. Give me yeah. all your expired food. <laughs> I, I literally just remembered today. I said something today. I was like, oh, what did I send it is? Sell through rate on eBay for vintage trucker hats is 10% right now. Ooh. That's no good. For you on camera, I'm not going to turn this eyes. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was going to be okay. really loud. <laughs> oh, what? Like me steaming? <laughs> Don't steam. Come on, phone. Okay, Does so Tommy, check five, five panel hats. Hmm? Then we have what? Hmm? Mm. Five, one, 13. I need reviews. Exporting. Which one do you want to do first? I need to open up my drafts one. It'll put us back on here. Oh. You can do it right here. Okay. 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 So what we're gonna do is drop these pictures into these drafts really quickly. Then we'll be done. I'm starting with this uh, troll devil. It's only fifteen ninety five. I was so bummed. So I do half, and Dan does half. This one. It's just in a weird order. Photo room just updated. Maybe it's having an issue. <laughs> Poor troll, what is going on? <laughs> Hot stuff. Oh my gosh, I had somebody yelling at me on Poshmark. Our trolls are worth such big bucks. This one is not. I'm so upset about it. So you had a good one? Mm -hmm. What'd you do? <clears throat> okay, Tommy, I just pulled up the Patagonia website and the five panel hats, oh like a duck bill cap. Well, that's no good. Everything went silent. <laughs> Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Um, what is this? Ducky talking plush. Okay. It doesn't talk. Does it say talking? It says talking in the title. Okay, can you check that out? It doesn't talk. Sure. It's mute. <laughs> Is listed in, in the hat category. Crazy. 
All right, I'll go do the Red Bear Hello Adventure. That one's worth twenty dollars. Was... Okay, <laughs> I was working with today. I was doing all those little uh, symptoms. Yeah. I, I'm just using them for conversions right now. Sorry, I'm trying to do. Oh, because yeah. I'm getting yelled at on Poshmark, so I'm blocking somebody. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> somebody said that I was scamming them. I have a Cards Against Humanity, the bigger blacker box. It's sealed. <laughs> and at Christmas time, it was selling for $100, so I have it listed for $90. And then she's like, this retailed at $15. Anything over 20% is a scam. I can't. Like, I, I can't let these people. Supply and demand, lady. And that's totally not what a scam is. She means like price gouging. Right. Which but, is not that either. Right. 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 <laughs> well, she sent me like three different offers and I went and checked comps again just to see if it was different because it was after Christmas. And so I was like, yeah, okay, fine. 75 bucks. I paid $6 for it. So that's fine. But she offered me 40 and then she offered me 20. And then she sent that lovely thing. So I was like, Meh. I don't know what it's worth. I just know yeah, but like, what, does she want what they're selling for. Her? She's only get coming after you like that because she wants it. She ain't going to get it. Right. <laughs> Tommy, I don't think she's gouging. Gouging has to be on something that's essential. Right. Cards against humanity is not essential. Price couch cards against humanity. Yeah. I mean, it's like the most non-essential thing of life. <laughs> it's really non-essential. Well, and I'm reading the back of the box in my picture, and it says that it doesn't include the actual game. It's a, it's a storage case. <laughs> Stop. It holds it, and it includes 50 blank cards, 10 black, 10 white, one totally unique. And there might be other surprises in there. Who knows? That's what's on the box. I don't know. what It's sealed. I don't know what's in there. All right. Oh, well. I'm going to leave it out there. Whatever. All right. I've been doing the 5% thing day for all the plush. We're, we're going to see if we get an increase in plush in the next two weeks. I don't know. Somebody told me to do that. Tammy told me to do that. <laughs> Five percent was the magic number. Well, with plush, it doesn't matter because it's like I either pay ten cents in the promotion fee or like sixty cents. I'm like, right. <laughs> okay. We're gonna try it out. The raccoon is rare. All right. What are you doing? I'm doing the little Thai panda. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do the yufufi. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Snow white apple blossom ball with boots with the fur. <laughs> Snow white, I don't have that one. Yes, you do. No. Oh, I didn't give you that one. I forgot. I forgot you don't have all of these. I have no idea which ones you have. <laughs> I have the uh, Cogsworth and Chip ones. Oh, okay, I'll do those. There's Oofoofy as well. I've never heard of Oofoofy in my life. No. Good night, Jennifer. Good. You got five listed. Love it. Oh, good job. It's such a good feeling going to bed once you've listed stuff, right? Yes. No, Tommy, the Patagonia, I just look at to see what style it is. So that five panel hat, I actually have a vintage Columbia one that's the five panel and it's got a, it's got like a fleece inside. But it's definitely 90s. Like it's two pieces. So those are the vintage ones I'm looking at. Are these floppy? Oh, the biker hat. Yeah. Cyclist. I guess this one like snaps in. 
So I just go off of that as far as like trend wise, and then I go try to find the old ones because it's not like there's a new hat style. It's not gonna happen. So maybe try to when you're digging, try to find the five, the five panel. Can you see that? Maybe that'll help. I don't know, dude. Kids, all their taste is in their mouth. Trapper hat. Who else lives no, in the Trapper hat has fur. I have trouble. And Carrie got all her drafts done. Yes. Sweet. We're working on it. We're almost there. Yeah. She goes to the bins at like almost every day. Everybody that's still hanging out, sticking around late. We appreciate it. Thank you. Me? I, I only go to the bins once a week. Oh, I just go to week. Goodwill every day. Oh, I thought that was backwards. I thought you went to Goodwill once a week. No, I go to Goodwill almost every day. The bins are just too far from where I have to drop my son off. And so I either. I go to a, two different Goodwills and I just mm -hmm. cycle through. I start taking candy to the people that work at Goodwill and they call me the candy lady and then they bring me all the good <laughs> stuff in the back. <laughs> okay, what else? Wait, did I just list the right thing? What did you just give me? The pot, the uh, Cogsworth and Chip. Okay, because I have another pair of Beauty and the Beast. That's Mrs. Potts. Yeah, we're going to that one. Okay. You gotta scroll down there. We, 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 you want the goofy hat? Tracy, I'm in Oklahoma City. Yeah, goofy hat. Goofy hat. Okay. Um, Good job, yeah, Carrie. See you tomorrow. Melissa. I didn't say anything. <laughs> As of, do not engage Tommy right now. Do not engage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's like, I didn't say anything. <clears throat> Tommy, we're being very Tracy, good on you. Right now. Your friend went to the Oklahoma City bins. Yeah. Okay. So it's a, it's a lifestyle choice. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's the only one that I've been to, so I don't have like a lot of like I don't know. I just watch everybody else's videos and think like ours is crazy. It's loud, and there's so much screaming in so many languages. She got COVID there. Same. Oh no. <laughs> Y'all, I don't, I probably, I'll have to keep that to myself. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that later. <laughs> We're trying to be very kosher on YouTube, although I already cursed tonight. You did drop it one. Me. It was me. It's all right. You're allowed to drop one and still get monetized. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's next? Uh, I'm doing the purple horse, and I think that's the last one. No. -uh. <laughs> okay, see, yeah. Pence is comparable to Skid Row. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Pretty much. That's pretty much what it is. Although I did feel like kind of a royalty, like a binge royalty to go walking in with my own basket. And then they were all like, can I have your buggy when you're done? And I was like, sorry, it's mine. And I pick it up and put it in the back of my truck. <laughs> <laughs> it's genius. I need that so bad. That's the best, dude. I've been waiting for the weather to get better because I need to go to the car wash and clean it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to spray paint it some kind of crazy color so that there's like really no, like it's mine. I didn't steal it, but I went to just a regular, I just decided I couldn't do the bins the other day just for, you know, mental health purposes. So I went to an old thrift store that I hadn't been to in a long time and um, found fabulous, like really great, way cheaper stuff than the bins, like a Vince cashmere cardigan that I ended up getting for 25 cents. I mean, that, that was, I didn't have to fight anybody for it. I didn't have to be yelled at. I didn't get COVID. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, but I, when I walked in, they didn't have any baskets. And so I was like, hey, I have a basket in my truck. <laughs> if I bring it in, 
I'm going to bring it out as well. <laughs> but I had people asking me for it. I'm like, sorry, it's mine. <laughs> I just lower the bag and just put it up in my Good bag. to know, Tommy. Thank you. <laughs> what is Tommy saying? Who is this Tommy person? Do we need to be friends? Yeah, you need to be friends with Tommy. But y'all need to keep it off the YouTube. He said after 90 seconds, we're fine. <laughs> then you can let him fly. Good to know. Don't tell me that. Right? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm we're from Washington DC. Yeah, <laughs> we're at oh. two hours twenty. I think we should call it. All right, we're going to bed. Thank you guys. Thanks everybody for so hanging much. out and working with us. We got our twenty. Bye, you guys. Minutes. Hope you sell lots. Thank you. You guys too. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.